Nation, uh, it's pretty funny. I'm standing outside of the stadium right now. I thought that this was actually lined with a decoration of just flags with maybe some little uh, elephants on it. No, those just happen to be all of the national championships that Alabama has. They almost have enough to wrap around the whole stadium. And the tradition here is unbelievable. Consistency is just probably the name or main word in the vocabulary here at Alabama. But, you know, for you know a tall task for the Razorbacks today, you have to have an established running game. You have to have some of your big-time players come out and make some big-time plays. A name for that is Rakeem Boyd. And I'm going to go back to the Picture Nation studio. Terry Talmadge is standing by. Man, Terry, we really need a lot from Rakeem Boyd. Something spectacular has to happen for number five. Yeah, without a doubt, DJ Rakeem Boyd has rushed for over 100 yards in six games during his time as a Razorback, and one of those games was actually last year against the Tide. I know he wanted to be the SEC leading rusher, so uh, I feel like you know, he's done a pretty good job right now. Rakeem Boyd is currently third in rushing yards for the SEC, sitting 96 yards behind the lead. But another big game like he had against Alabama last year should help him get to the top spot. Uh, it was a fun game. I mean, before the game, I think Darren McFadden told me, you know, do what you always do. So I went out there, I went ahead and did what I always did. And the line blocked great, you know, against Alabama last year. So we had a lot of old guys last year that knew what was going on. So they, they held him up pretty good. Now the Hogs O line is a bit less experienced this time around, but Boyd has made improvements to his game and his body. This offseason, you know, he took the uh, weight room more serious. Um, he said he, he, when he got here, he never liked to lift weights or whatever when he was in Juco and at AM. and So uh, I just like how he, he turned his body around and he become more of a leader on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I've, been, I've been trying to get after it this year, you know what I mean? Uh, my arms doesn't really get bigger <laughs> over my shoulders, so I, I've just been trying to maybe stay after or something, get a little bit extra work. And as you know, the, the weights aren't my strong point. I could squat now. I can get down there, but, you know, upper body, is, it kind of takes a toll on me. So I've been getting better about it, getting a little bit stronger this year. Boyd has suffered a number of injuries, though, currently battling an ongoing shoulder injury. But that's not stopping him from taking the field. I mean, honestly, when adrenaline is running, you know, I don't feel any pain. So I'm just going. I mean, there's some times where I'm just like, God dang, you know, my shoulder's hurt. You know, I might have to sit out this play, and, but I'm still going, you know what I mean? So. Well, here's a look at Boyd's numbers so far this season. The running back has rushed for nearly 660 yards, averaging over five yards per carry and over 90 yards per game. He has five touchdowns on the year, the most on the team, and 76 receiving yards as well. Hopefully, that arm injury doesn't bother him at all, DJ. They need a big game out of him today. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, he has an AC sprain, and I actually had that a week before I played Mississippi State uh, my senior year in college. And what they do, they have a needle about that long that they inject in your shoulder with lidocaine. It's a numbing agent, I would say. And mine got to the point where I had to do it before the game and halftime. Now, for Rakeem Boyd, he's a running back. And these guys at Alabama, they can bang. And I'm just saying, if we lean on him too much, Tara, do you see a situation where the coaches might have to be – Man, we still have more games left in the season. You still have a future. Could you see him maybe taking too much of a toll if this game gets out of hand? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Alyssa mentioned it earlier. The goal in this game, honestly, is to get out of it at least somewhat healthy. You cannot lose Rakeem Boyd if you want a chance at having other good games the rest of this season. Yeah, and Mike, I would say what's going to help Rakeem Boyd? I mean, obviously you would think, passing game you know if if Hicks or Stalker whoever it's going to be becomes one dimensional I mean I just don't see the coaches giving that much of a load to uh Rakeem Boyd are there other ways that they can help him out maybe Devall Whaley yeah there are ways and unfortunately everything's going again it's it's this thing where you don't catch a break one way would be if you could throw it more well with this rain maybe you don't and then you've lost two offensive starters in the, in the offensive line two starters I mean what's that all about it just seems like every time you mm. talk about something where Arkansas might be able to do something, <laughs> take advantage or whatever, there's some external thing that comes in and it's just not there. So, you know, I'd like to say Rakeem will have the same kind of game that he did last year, <clears throat> but I'm not sure that he will just because of the circumstances. 
Yeah, and the circumstances are a thing. As soon as you mentioned it, Mike, I don't know what kind of connections you have with the man upstairs, but yeah, it's starting to rain right now, and it's going to continue to do it. Now, we did hear around 4 o'clock that it's supposed to stop. If that's the case, then there's a potential that they could at least play with dry footballs. I'm not sure how well uh, maintained the field is, but we're going to take a look at that once we get inside the stadium. Thank you all so much uh, up there at Picture Nation Studio. We'll check back it with them later. All right, guys, we're about to go to break. When we come back, you know if you're an alumni, you better start paying attention. We're going to have our snout out section.